office investigated the incident and sent all information to the state's attorney that decided not to file criminal charges. The Ward County Jail is finishing a $39 million construction project to increase its occupancy. The current jail has 50 cells that can hold 110 inmates and our Alexis Arthur is live at the Ward County Jail to give us an inside look. Right now, the new jail is under construction, but when it's done, there will be 100 new cells that will be able to hold 200 new inmates. Now, the design has the cells broken up into sections. There will be two floors per section that will can roughly hold 25 inmates. The cells have bunked beds and a bathroom, and then there is one shower per section. Sheriff Bob Barnard told me that there isn't enough room for the inmates at the current jail, and many of them need to be trained transported. With the new addition, they'll be able to house all the inmates, separate them accordingly, and keep everything in one building. Ford County spent $505,000 last year on housing inmates outside of our own facility. So we need to get this facility done and open so we can house them here at a lower cost. They hope to have construction done by the end of the year, and with both of the jails, they'll be able to hold nearly 300 inmates. Reporting live in Minot, I'm Alexis Arthur. Thanks, Alexis. We're going to have more at 10. North Dakota senators killed a measure today that would allow any elected official to carry.